Welcome to Asian News. It's Friday, October 16th, in the Jewish year 5781. Our top story is an interview with David Suisa, the publisher and editor in chief of the Jewish Journal and the president of Tribe Media. Here are some sound bites from a 45 minute discussion. I tell you, pop up Shul Arie was one of my favorite ideas of the pandemic. We covered it in the Jewish Journal, as you know. And you did, you did I think, great. Yeah, I think that was just a really kind of a creative expression. You must have racked your brains on this one. The community has completely shut down in terms of events. So when I hear you doing an event with real people, not on Zoom, I think it's kind of interesting because uh, a lot more people are going to be looking at those ideas. Anything right now, the, the, the enormous calamity that has hit American Judaism is the fact that our tens of thousands of buildings have become danger zones. I think for me in the immediate, the immediate crisis is are any of these major congregations going to survive and how will they survive and what will be the, uh, the fallout, the repercussions, are people going to lose their jobs, are synagogues going to consolidate? You know, what you learn from Rabbi Weinberg, you know, the, the, the house is on fire. We don't have time to waste that, that same kind of drive to do outreach. That never goes away, <laughs> you know, and it's got to be funneled somewhere because the only option that is never an option is to give up. It has forced us to go beyond in the same way that you were forced to go beyond your limited physical space. We were forced to go beyond our limited physical paper, which has been shrunk by the pandemic. And that has forced us to create messages for the whole world, because that is what the internet is. You're, you're right. The Jewish Journal has gone international. We have, whether we like it or not. This year's high holidays were unusual. All the shuls were closed. Aish came up with an idea called Pop-Up Shul, where we help people turn their backyards into their own shuls. Let's hear from JMI dad, Scott Spindel, who we now call Rabbi Shmuel, about his experience. I was very active with, with going to Aish at Maury's for I think three years now for hands down the best holiday services I've ever been involved in in my life. I guess it was an honor to be asked to lead, um, a daunting task. The fear, when I'm giving a sheer, a lecture, a, a, a divrei Torah, on a topic as deep as Rosh Hashanah or Yom Kippur or Tshuva, is to go, all right, what do you say? And I sat there with a silent pause and the voices started coming. So when the participation was there, I realized I did something right. And that's it this week for Asian News. Have a great weekend. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.